head coach C. Vivian Stringer, junior guard Silas and Davis, junior forward Kanaja Laney, and sophomore forward Kalia Copper will open it up to questions. Coach, is, I guess is the first half what the slow start is that kind of what haunts you about this game, and does it feel like a missed opportunity? Yeah, it um, yeah. We've had a couple of those, uh, but this one is hurt, hurts much more because it has big implications, and I don't even want to go into them now. This team knows what the implications were. This opportunity, what else do you say? Questions? Um, Benajou, just you know, obviously you guys, for almost all the conference play, held the third place, and so now, um, you know, you have to drop to the four going into the tournament. Just um, how does it feel right now? I mean, it hurts us, you know, because we wanted it to be in our favor. But, you know, I mean, we still have to go out and do what we're supposed to do. So, I mean, it hurts us because it's not the easiest way, but. And just down the stretch, did, did you really, did you guys feel like you were going to maybe pull it out? Or did, I mean, how did that feel like in terms of just, did it feel like they were really in control in terms of like they kept responding to you guys, lost turnover or something? Yeah, that was the issue. Um, you know, when you're when you're down, you can't trade baskets. We have to be able to maintain and get stops, and we didn't do that. It seemed like every time we would score, they would come down and score. It was just we were trading baskets, and that's what we couldn't do. What, what that did you do? Do you think there, there was a hangover from from the Connecticut game at all? I, I think team like Connecticut is capable of electrocuting you to the point you have a hangover for a long time. Um, but I thought that we played tentative. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, when you see, uh, at the end of the day, when you see uh, Essie and Rachel as high scorers, and you see uh, Essie and Bree as high rebounders, then you know something's wrong. And just we just didn't get it done. We worked hard, but I think that they uh, they come out very confident. They challenged us, put us back on our heels, and. Um, we didn't respond until too late. Um, and I'm not surprised. It, they were the team that kept Connecticut at their lowest. But of course, um, by dropping to fourth, we get a chance to be invited to play Connecticut again. Quick. What did you feel a little out of sync? You know, you, you know, coming back after missing the, the Connecticut game a little? Um, yes. Yeah, it's hard coming back like, just coming back like that. And, yeah, I felt out of sync. Can you give us an idea, Kalia? I mean, what kind of pain? Are you, is it pain in the toe? Is it, I, I mean, Coach said it might be hyperextended. Yeah, it hurts every time I walk. It hurts. Questions? Sia, so, since you think, um, like Coach was just talking about, or he was talking about a hangover with UConn, that you guys play in your third game in, I guess, six days or whatever, contributed maybe a little bit to the slow start, or what do you think made it tough to score the first six minutes or so? Um, we did come out to a slow start, but that's either here nor there about a six grand, like a six day stretch. Like, we practice every day. That's just. We come to play every day. We just came off to a slow start, which kind of gave us a disadvantage. What they're saying is, was, was Williams number 10 doing something that uh, you ladies weren't expecting? Or? No, not at all. Wait, what, what, what do you think she was able to, to get loose? So um, coming into the second half, we began to shoot at her. And you, over, we began to shoot out over her, uh, like not chopping our feet out, and she Ball fake and went around us. One dribble pull up. She got like six to like eight easy points off that. Any other questions? 